Hey YouTube, Bike Miner again. Uh, I'm going to do a different list this time. I've gotten, thanks to some encouragement from, oh, Ghost Cob was a big one. But, you know, along with the pipes, a lot of us have gotten into cigars. Yeah, and I talked to old Berg and Jimmy, your Smokey Mo, and, and uh, Jason, and Bayou Guru. You know, a lot of these guys are cigar smokers or were before they even got into pipes. <clears throat> and uh, so you get to talking to them and they, you know, as somebody that I had smoked cigars in the past, but, you know, never anything with any kind of serious intention. It was just, I'd grab one every six months and have it, you know, no big deal. But uh, after talking to these guys and hearing them talk about some of the blends and that I started taking an interest you know as happens in this hobby <laughs> so I have picked out some of my favorite cigars from this year and these they're all new to me because I may have smoked some of these that I tried before but I've you know never paid any attention to how much I actually enjoyed them so, you know, when I used to smoke all the time, one of my favorites was a John T's Crowd Pleaser, was what it was called, and a cherry cream mix. And it was essentially a pipe tobacco cigar, which is why I liked it. So, you know, I, I was looking for those, and the shop that I used to buy those at doesn't carry them anymore. I think you can still buy them online, but I, I don't care to chase them like that. I'll, and as my palate developed with pipe tobacco, I actually started being able to pick out some of the flavors in a cigar too so but I did find uh, that Drew Estate I don't remember who they collaborated with but the Java's and I've not had one of the mints but I did try one of the Java Reds and man it's supposed to be chocolate cherries and that's one of my favorite candies and I get the chocolate cherry out of that cigar so it's not something I would smoke terribly often, but every once in a while I get the urge for one. So yeah, I'd, a Java Red, I'd keep some of those around just for the occasional time when I wanted to smoke them. Another one I found is, it's called a Perla Del Mar. Bought one of these and when I smelled it, you know, I'm used to pipe tobacco, so I smelled it and went, oh, hey, that's Virginia. Worked on my, worked my way through it, lit it. <laughs> that thing is has got to be full of Virginia leaf, because that's what I was getting that kind of grassy hay type Virginia off of this cigar. That one is I, I keep one of those around almost all the time. You know, I'll smoke it and go buy another one. Uh, I had thanks to Mr. Ghost Cobb, he sent me a Blanco Nine. And man, that's, I was really impressed with that one. And he had kind of told me what to expect with that a little bit, but that was a good cigar. So that's another one that I'll, I, nobody around here carries them, but I can order them. So I'll get some, keep them on hand. Um, also, I, I really have been enjoying every one of them that I've had, the Rocky Patel Vintage 1990s. And I buy almost everything I buy, I buy in Robusto just because that gives me the smoke time that I'm looking for or somewhere in that hour to hour and 15 minute range usually. But uh, that Rocky Patel Vintage 1990, and I'm branching out into the Rocky Patel line just to try to find some more of his stuff that I like because I've heard from other people that they're really good. Uh, another one is the Undercrown Maduro. Now, I've not had the shade or the sun grown, but the Maduro, if the sun grown is anywhere near as good as the Maduro and it's supposed to be better, I know I'm gonna like it. But that Undercrown Maduro is definitely a good, well, what I'm finding is I like a full flavored or full bodied cigar, but I don't necessarily want something with a lot of pepper to it, so some of these have more pepper than others, but that 
Underground. I, I understand why they're so popular. Because it's it's that for me it's that good. Uh another one that I just had today, and it was my first Padron, but it's a one of the nineteen sixty four eighty fifth anniversaries and a natural wrapper. And it's you know, as a pipe smoker I get used to retrohaling things. So Every once in a while, I'll get a hold of a cigar, and I do that retrohale almost out of just habit. And if you're not ready for it, sometimes that'll wake you right up to the mistake that you have made. Because I, uh, last year, I tried one of the Kentucky Fire Cureds. Uh, let me tell you, that dark fired tobacco in that in a cigar is not the same as you know old dark fired. Because I retrohaled that one just without even thinking about it and it lit me up and I, I knew immediately that that was a mistake and it wasn't going to happen again but this Padron I could retrohale the entire time no problems smooth there's a lot of flavors in there and it, look my my palate for cigars is not nearly as developed as it is for pipe tobacco and they are distinctly different but I can pick out some of the different flavors that are coming out of these cigars and you know it's just that Padron it was a pricey one but for something like today I went in and I bought the Padron and I bought a, a some Jameson to sit there at the cigar lounge I just sat back for an hour and a half and just all I did was have the cigar and the whiskey and it, it was worth it so I, I would probably do it again on the right occasion but my favorite stick that I've tried so far, and uh, you hear a lot of hype about these, but the, my favorite one so far by a long shot is the Liga Pravada number no. nine. And it's, I, there's just nothing I could say bad about that cigar other than it was too short by the time I got done. I wanted more. So, you know, for on average, even online, those are about 13, anything from. 11 to 14 bucks a stick depending on the size it's worth it for to me it's worth buying if you're if you're wondering about it and you think that they might be okay yeah spend the money try it so but anyway that's the my list of top cigars for the year <laughs> and i'm not done by a long shot there'll probably be lots of others in future years but anyway until we get a chance to talk again Remember, life is short. Stop and smell the smoke.